Hey everybody, it's Barry Rudolph. I'm here at my studio, Tones for Dollars in North Hollywood. Today we're gonna to take two speaker cabinets and mic them with one microphone. To do that, we're gonna have the two speakers facing each other and put a Rode NTR figure of eight bi-directional mic in between. So the goal here is to get equal volume, equal level from each cabinet, so we're getting 100% of sound from the two cabinets. The two cabinets are going to be plugged into a single bass head. So let's go through that and figure out how we're going to do that. Okay, here is the Rode NTR ribbon. It's an active ribbon. It has, uh, the ribbon is inside. This is a hold down screw to hold it when you're moving it around like I am now. This microphone has a front lobe on this side and a rear lobe on this side. These two lobes are out of polarity or out of phase from one another. The two cabinets plugged into the same uh, top are going to push together uh, against the mic. What we need to do is reverse the polarity of one of the cabinets and that way it'll be in the same polarity as the figure of eight mic here. One thing important to this process that each cabinet be outputting the same amount of level. To do that we're going to run a tone into the cabinet top and we're going to play out of one cabinet and look at the output into the mic from that cabinet, turn that cabinet off, turn on the second cabinet and see that it is the same level. We may have to move the mic in and around and the cabinet so that we achieve the same level. We're putting the mic exactly on the center dust cover of each speaker in each cabinet. Okay, so here we have the Rode NTR and it's uh, placed exactly center on the dust cover of this cabinet. This is a Ampeg SVT 210 AV and we're driving it with the Ampeg Micro VR amplifier here. It's capable of four ohms impedance. Each cabinet is eight ohms. And so we'll be plugging one cabinet into the back in one and the other cabinet in here when it's moved in. Uh, remember the road has two lobes, bi-directional mic, one lobe this way, the other lobe this way. In the session, you'll see the first playback, this cabinet, cabinet A, and the second waveform will be cabinet B only. Uh, the third waveform will be a combination of both cabinets into the mic. Remember, we're only using one mic. The fourth waveform will be the same as uh, the third one, except we'll be using this. So I've made this cable. This cable flips the polarity of one of the speaker cables. So in other words, the tip becomes the sleeve at this end, and the sleeve at this end becomes the tip at this end. So this cable uh, allows the two speakers, instead of pushing against each other because they're both in polarity, they're now going to push in tandem. They're going to push in and out. This adapter is necessary for this technique to work. Okay, everything is set up now. Uh, we're going to record. Now we're going to record, and you're going to hear just the bass out of one cabinet. And then we'll show you what the cabinet B, the other cabinet, sounds like. And then we'll show you, and you can hear what the two cabinets together, equally balanced. And then the fourth uh, thing we'll show is when I reverse the polarity of one of the cabinets. Here's cabinet A. And now let's hear cabinet B on its own. Right, let's hear cabinet A and B in standard polarity. No, there's nothing wrong with your speakers. The sound from the two cabinets are canceling each other out at the microphone. Okay, now let's hear cabinet A and B again, except I'm going to reverse the polarity of one of the cabinets. Again, if you're listening on a full range system, you'll hear a much fatter bass tone than either one of the cabinets on their own. Today we've shown you a new way to record guitar and bass cabinets. I hope you enjoyed the video and try it yourself.